Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, I'm going to talk about rotating about a point as our center of rotation. So let's dig right in because this video is following a full length video on reflecting about the origin. So today we're going to talk about rotations about a point. To rotate a figure about a point in a coordinate plane, we're going to turn the figure about the fixed point, graph the image, and label our vertices. So our direction state, rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise about vertex B. So we have our center of rotation, which is going to be vertex B. Our direction is going to be clockwise, and we're going 90 degrees as our angle of rotation. So that's one turn in the coordinate plane. So now let's look at this. We're rotating around vertex B, and let's set it up. So we made one turn. So B, notice B did not move. B was at negative 1, 1, and that's our fixed point, our center of rotation. But if you pick up your computer and turn it, leaving B here, this is what it's going to look like. So I did it in a second just so we could visualize it. Now let's bring that triangle over and we're going to graph it. And A prime, B prime, and C prime. So noticing that AB is 1, 2, 3. A, B, 1, 2, 3. So A, B and A prime, B prime are corresponding sides in the same length. Then we knew that C was going to go 90 degrees this way and be 1, 2, 3, 4 in length. 1, 2, 3, 4 in length. And then you connect. So that's how you can rotate 90 degrees clockwise around a vertex rather than around the origin. Now it's your turn. I would like you to rotate triangle ABC 180 degrees about vertex A. Go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So here is our original triangle ABC and we're going to rotate it about vertex A right here. So that's going to be 180 degrees around this vertex A. So 180 degrees is going to be two turns. So our first turn is going to end us right here. A does not move, but notice that B goes down. And if you turned your computer, you would see that. It went to 4, negative 2, and C is over here on the y-axis, so 0, negative 1. Now we're going to do it again by noticing that our sides are we have congruent images. You could also use tracing paper to help you with this and use your pencil on your point to be your spinner. Now we're going to go one more turn to the left, clockwise, 90 degrees, bringing us an A does not change. So then we're going to go graph it over here, remembering A prime is going to be the same as A, B prime is going to be at negative 3, negative 1, and C prime is going to be over here. So noting that you're going to continue out. So if we look at this, A to C, we go down 1, and to the right, one, two, three. And here's A, and we're gonna go over and one, two, three. So if you've turned your computer down one and over three, and then over here, down and over three. So you've got to imagine how you're doing this, and it should come out looking like a pinwheel. And your vertex, your center of rotation, never changes. So that's how you rotate about a point. And I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. 